start some rough test assembly. Here's the base that we modified. Handle, press it down. Appears to be good. When we originally cut that hole, it was a little too small, so I had to do a little bit of surgery so I could get the plug in there. Let's put the standoffs for the first platform on. Put a couple washers underneath it so it wouldn't stand proud of the bottom. I also switched over to three inch standoffs instead of two. So I could reach under the platform and press the button more easily. Get on there. Okay. Next we put on the cable, interface cable. Sounds like the cable went in. Sounds happy. Next we'll put on the first platform. Put a little washer on it. And one more. Okay, I can go around tighten them up. So in this initial prototype, there are several ways that we can mount this USB hub. Uh, we could build a little platform for it and use the brass insets. But I think what I'm going to do for this is to use dual lock tape. It's similar to Velcro, you could obviously use Velcro in its place, but dual lock um, is something similar but it makes a satisfying click when you make the two pieces together. So in order to do that, let me introduce you, the one, the only, the famous, Mr. Isopropyl Alcohol. Ah, fans go wild. First, we clean the surfaces with a clean white towel and isopropyl alcohol.
clean the back of this baby. actually two rolls of tape, the male and the female side, so I'll take a little bit of tape. This stuff is pretty strong, so you don't, if you want to be able to get it off there in the future, don't use too much. Down back there. Eyeball it in. And when it's over it, just press down. Click. Oh boy. So we don't want to just put click tape on here. What we'd like to do is put it on a little platform. And then use some Velcro to actually tie it in. So this will come up onto the third deck. From the bottom deck, or from the create base, will come up like this. Plug into the that. and for the time being, we'll just take some painter's tape, and mask this down. When we get it set into the real place that we want it to be, we will use some zip ties just say that it has a generous amount of cable here and from the top we'll also get the USB from the camera so a little scrap piece of expanded PVC here which I'll use to mount the battery let's prepare it Mr. Isopropyl Alcohol oh boy And we cut off a couple pieces of tape. I don't think this little robot's very fast, so I'm not going to worry too much at this point about holding it together. That 
should work. And then we're going to put a Delco strap around it. Probably two of them. And these are the same thing that they use on quadcopters and RC cars to hold batteries in place. And it's black because I only work in black or sometimes very, very dark gray. is you put it in here, you wrap the Velcro around there, and you snap it in place. But first we're going to click it onto the platform. There we go. So that's the second tier. So let's put on the second platform. Okay, well, we're going to have to do some of these little guys. Let's tape them down. That sounds like a plan. Put one over here. And over there, that should do it. Make a good size chunk of tape. that guy down. Well, this guy down back here. Let's take down. Okay, so the 3D camera is next. I'm gonna mount him right here. The time being I I think I just Velcro them in with these battery holders. Let's go like this. challenge here with the extra cord. And we'll put it 
back here on the second. Plug it in. So we're not quite ready to use the IMU, so I'm just going to take it out. This is from the USB plug. Fits. So this the idea is we will drill a hole here and we'll actually bring this cable down through the hole through the platform so it's not hanging out the back. And same thing with this cable here. The power cable will come like that and we should be good. How about this? Put this out of the way. Same thing with the power. Obviously, we don't want to run into something and squish the power cable up against the platform. We just be able to plug that in. So a quick tour of where we are currently. We've mounted the Jetson, we mounted the Asus 3D camera. On the second platform, we mounted the USB hub, place to put the battery, and we mounted this all to the Create2 base. So this should be enough to give us a drivable robot. Mm -hmm.